Hi guys, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be cooking mini sausage rolls. Let's get into the video. If you do like this video, like, subscribe or comment. Things for this recipe we'll be needing is we'll need puff pastry, the filling for the inside, egg, a fork and a cooking brush, and we'll also need a tray and baking paper. You'll also need this cup for whisking the egg. Make sure the beef for the inside of your mini sausage rolls is defrosted. Don't forget to preheat the oven. First thing we'll be doing is getting the puff pastry onto a plate. Now that you have your puff pastry on your plate, get ready for the next step. Now that you have your puff pastry onto your plate, you're going to be getting the beef and putting it onto the puff pastry. With your beef, you will be getting a bit off the beef and putting it on to the puff pastry. Let's get to that. Now that you have your meat on your puff pastry, roll them up. Now that you've got it ready, start rolling them up. What you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure all of your meat isn't touching the sides. Then you're gonna make sure it's a little ball. You can either put it on this side, this side, or in the middle, either one of your choice. I think I'm gonna put mine over here because it's gonna be a lot easier to roll. Then what you're going to do is you're gonna get it and you're gonna roll it up and do the rest for the rest of them. Now that it all looks like this, if it's a little bit big, you can cut it in half. If you want to, you can close the ends of them when cooking. But if you don't want to, that's okay. I don't think I will. If they only close that much, get your fork and with the end of your fork, push down on this part like that. And it should close them a bit better and they won't open when they're in the oven. Now let's get them on a tray. Now that they're on your tray, start whisking the egg. Now that you have your eggs ready, put them onto the sausage rolls. Now that your mini sausage rolls have got their egg on it, put them in the oven. So good. Let's taste test this. Mmm. I definitely recommend these. Put them on a plate ready to be eaten, or you can put them in a container to save them for later. Now I've got my second batch. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys liked it, share it to a friend or family member. And like, comment, or subscribe. You pick. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.